I met Russell Brown 20 years ago. He's the creative director at Adobe in the USA. He's a fantastic guy because he helps photographers learn about using tools like Lightroom and Photoshop. Not only that though, he's a forerunner into new techniques like using iPhones and other devices of that nature. Let's go and meet him now. So here we are, Russell. We're in the middle of nowhere. Where are we and why are we here? This whole adventure, um might have started with you mentioning that you were coming to the US. And then I think to myself, what can you and I do? We um, thought of something boring like going to Yosemite, but then I called my good friend Carrick James. Carrick says, you've got to go beyond that. And then he'll send me these pictures. Peekaboo Canyon, you know, have you ever been here? Or Canera Canyon, or Zebra Canyon. And um, I go, oh, crud look at these places they're amazing let's forget yosemite it's going to be crowded this time of year we are taking the opportunity here to capture some amazing photographs and i personally am capturing photographs with only mobile devices phones and 360 cameras something that doesn't require a backpack that's what we're here for it's all about photography so russell we were going to catch up a couple of days ago but i got delayed by a hurricane you had a fantastic day, I understand. I'm what's called hyper. <laughs> I have to be doing something all the time. So I quickly called up a friend in town, a performer, and I said, I'm looking for some female models, great looking, they've got dresses that are blowing in the breeze and the wind, and I want them standing on top of the fire wave there in the Valley of Fire. I told them I wanted this fashion shot. It looks like it's on, um, Sunset Magazine, you know, fashion in the desert. It was a really great moment. The sun was setting down over the mountains. The cross light across the, the rocks, because of the shape and the erosion to the rocks, just caught the, the lines across the rocks. It was gorgeous, fantastic. It was one of the most special moments. It's something that no one should ever miss, and you missed it. <laughs> I've been privileged to uh, roam the Southwest for 40 years and one of the greatest things has been to show friends and then people I've met through photography some of my favorite places. I mean it just thrills me every time I get to do it and this trip especially has been like that. We're headed up the river to discover the Emerald Cave. Have you ever seen it before? I have not. It's apparently quite stunning. The light at 3 o'clock in the afternoon comes into the cave bounces off the bottom of the cave and lights it up and it flickers. What time is it now? It's a quarter to one. Let's get going. <laughs> Emerald Cave only opened up to the public in the mid 90s and I was privileged then to stumble into it and shoot it for an Arizona Highways magazine feature and actually named Emerald Cave and it's just gotten more and more magical in the years since then. It's not easy to reach, and if you don't know it's there, you'll never find it. But that makes it all the more magical. Here we are on the Mojave Lake. Now, since I'm right here in the middle of this lake, it means I'm not in Arizona, and I'm not in Nevada. <laughs> I'm nowhere. But we're about to enter the Emerald Cave. Now, here I'm inside the Emerald Cave, shooting 360s had to go manual exposure because it's just so extreme, the outside and the inside lighting here. Shot some fisheye images with my phone. The secret to the Emerald Cave, I'm gonna tell the director to pan the camera to the ceiling. That's the Emerald Cave. So Adobe is a big company. It's been around a long time, but I believe you go way back to the beginning. I've been working at Adobe since the beginning of time. <laughs> I'm employee number 38, um, joined in 1985. Uh, if you do the math quickly, I'm, this is coming on my 35th year at Adobe. There's myths and legends about this thing about Photoshop, Russell Brown, Adobe. The rumors are true, and if they, uh, and I've been actually spreading additional rumors to give myself more fame. And um, the rumors are that it was me personally who inspired Adobe to purchase Photoshop and bring it into our collection of software. That's 1989, and so I became this Photoshop crazy character. Mr. Photoshop, I believe. Mr. Photoshop, yeah, I just, yeah let's make that clear. Yeah. 
you know, after development of Photoshop, it's now things are becoming very, very mobile. So I'm now shifting to promoting Photoshop on the iPad. So I shoot with a phone, process on an iPad, and that's what I travel with now are those two devices.